By sharing your story about how God's love has impacted your relationships or even your marriage could be a way to start a conversation about God's love. Let's have a look at Jeff and Caroline's story. So we're still dating after 25 years of marriage. But fortunately it's with each other, right? <laughs> every week, or almost every week, we try and have a date and really talk to each other, catch up and hear each other. Yeah, some older friends of ours uh, modelled this to us and we liked what we saw so we thought we'd try it out. Yeah, so that could be the secret of a healthy marriage right there, talking to each other a lot, yeah. making it a priority. So we met 27 years ago, a mutual friend of ours introduced us to each other and uh, she thought we'd get on really well and she was right, we clicked straight away and I suppose that's when the talking really started. I loved the way another couple we knew started their relationship. They spent time together with their friends around so it wasn't too intense getting to know each other and then even started to pray with each other and I like the way that they did that and so we did this and then we started dating ourselves and then that eventually led to marriage. And because we got on so well, everyone expected us to have a really easy marriage. Uh, but to be honest, the honeymoon period, the feeling quickly faded and in the first few years we found we were fighting a lot and a lot of the time. It was hard for us to understand how two people who love each other so much could feel so uncomfortable with one another. And at one point I even in my anger and frustration and immaturity took off my wedding ring and just threw it on the bed. It was hard. <laughs> so I sold the ring. <laughs> no, not really. But we did carry on talking. And we tried to put into practice what we'd learned during our marriage preparation time. And that was to write love letters to each other. Uh, talking about the very things that we were struggling with, the issues that we were tackling. And it's very hard to be aggressive with your spouse when you're writing a love letter to them. So we wrote these letters to each other and then swapped them and read them without comment. And then we would discuss it together. And it was so helpful to do that process. So over the years, we've taken an annual weekend away, preferably in a nice location, um, to build into our relationship and to take extra time to talk. We'll perhaps look at some questions together or look at a marriage book just to try and connect on a deeper level. Sometimes we've done a facilitated weekend run by Christian marriage initiatives like uh, Family Life. It's not always an easy time, although it can be great, um, but we've, we're so thankful that we've never shied away from those hard and difficult topics because it's made our marriage much stronger as a result. In fact, I think we've got a pretty good marriage and we have a lot of fun together. So it's like an annual service on your car. You want to check everything's going okay, are there any minor or even major adjustments that you need to make? So these are some practical tips that have helped us, but it's more than just a practical tip, it's actually the person of Jesus that's helped us the most. He's modelled and taught us how to love when it's hard to love, how to speak truth with gentleness and respect, how to value one another and forgive one another. Um, he's really shown us what real love is. He gave himself for us. That's right, and it's actually more than him just modeling how to live, isn't it? It's, it's actually having a relationship with him, experiencing his love in our lives so that we get closer to him, but we also get closer to each other through that. So really, you could say Jesus is the glue of our marriage. Campus Reset for Christ has different ministry focuses, such as family life, which aims to invest in men, women, families, relationships and marriages. One of the resources that closest to our hearts is called The Art of Marriage. It would definitely be worth your time finding out more.